So basically, the web is obviously full of all kinds of content. There are endless amounts of websites, content they like it's just, there's so much content available online. So the way that, and in this case I'll talk about Google, there are other search engines out there that you might use that are different. But basically, what these search engines do is they crawl existing web pages, so it goes through and analyzes things like the content that's on the page, the images that are on the page, any sort of things that make up your website. And then what it does is it analyzes all of that, kind of puts it into buckets, and then figures out from there how it should rank for certain keywords based on what the user is searching for. So first, crawling the web, and then indexing the content, and then ranking it based on the type of content that's in it. So and Google alone accounts for 5.6 billion searches per day. I could pull more stats about there are so many unique keyword combinations everybody uses, so it's gotten a lot more, let's say, intense and hard to predict over the last few years just because there's user intent that Google keeps in mind. But in general, this is a very basic sense, this is how search engine works. All the content analyzes it and breaks it based on what's in the search engine. And so, Kind of what this, these examples illustrate is that every search is very different, and depending on what you're searching for, it, Google will take into account maybe your search history, maybe videos you've watched on YouTube. I personally look into like web skincare products and makeup type things, so I'm looking up those things on YouTube. It knows when I start searching for that in the browser, it keeps track of all that. So it used to be very cut and dry where you search for a keyword, you get presented with results, and that's the end of it, but now you've got maps, and you've got ads, and you've got shopping, and you've got questions, and all kinds of things. 